Hello, it's me again. I thought I'd give you an update on isolation, day seven, I think, and where physically I'm at, but also to look at the equipment that I bought with me and, and some hints and tips that might be useful for you to bring with you to, to this uh, beautiful establishment. So first of all, I'm going to take you through, and I know I did this yesterday, I'm going to take you through my stats on, on the sheet that I get given every day or the sheet that gets filled out every day to just re-explain what's going on there and, and where I'll be going from there. So let me just take this camera. Hopefully this will work. Um, so here we have the sheet. Now, this is split into all the different days, the, into three sections. Hemoglobin, which is your bloods, leukocytes, which is your immunity, basically, and platelets, which is the other funky stuff in your blood. So they say to keep your blood levels, your hemoglobin levels, over 80. I've gone 97, 93, oops, sorry. Uh, uh, 97, 93, 97, 98, 100, 95, and 98. So they're dead happy with that. Leukocytes, my immunity, 0 0.8, 0 0.2, 0 0.02, 0 0.03, 0 0.02, 0 0.02, 0 0.02. That's really, really good. They they say basically that's that's killed off my immune system. Part of that will be will be these one to three percent. That will be these T cells and B cells. But but at that level, they they they'll be at zero. So they are super happy with that. My platelets should be above 20. I've gone 78, 61, 61, 45, 35, 26, 26. Now, my platelets are a little bit low. What they've told me is don't do any exercise. Some people like to do sort of sit-ups and, and, and try and keep themselves fit because of, uh, of their body gets sort of de decommissioned, really. Um, but he, he said, don't do any exercise. So I'm pretty cool with that. I might just sit on my foul ass and do nothing. <laughs> so that suits me fine. Um, so, so what's interesting here is you can see some, uh, this is where it should be bottoming out and, and, it, and it has been. And they'll inject, they are injecting me with oocytes or, or whatever they are to try and improve my immunity now because they want it to get slightly better in order for me to be ready to leave so that's why those lines are going to start going up there and then and then continue going up until when i leave here i don't know if it's going to be about 60 percent or 40 or 60 percent as far as my immunity is concerned uh it is i my flight is due out on the 10th it's a fourth today so which means it's a fifth there, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. So the tenth should be the thirteenth. Now they think I'm going to finish my isolation maybe on the eleventh. It does depend what your results are and where your figures are. So it might be that there's a couple of days where I'm hanging around just getting a little bit better. They're not going to kick me out, but um, but but that's that that means that I'll be out of isolation. And, and mingling with other human beings. So what I'm really happy with is that Dr. F said that my stats are superstar stats. So I, I am particularly lucky that, that I'm in a really good place. And he seems to indicate that where some people might take a year to, to, to return to pre-HSCT levels. So some people go downwards in their, in their EDSS scores or in their disability or in the way they cope with their MS. And then, uh, and, and it takes them a long time to get back up to start improving. He seems to think that I'm in a good place to just, to just carry on as I am and make those improvements fairly, fairly quickly. If that's the case, I'm obviously massively stoked and pretty lucky so but remember these things are different for everyone i know next door you know frank's uh he's got lower platelets than me so they're having to do funky things with him there uh, other people are in much more different sort of edss positions to me their disability scores are much higher than, than than i am they might be older they might be more cognitively challenged or whatever so 
all those variables are going to are going to affect how how you how successful this is and how quickly you recover or how well the progression the halting of the progression goes so bear that all in mind for me it's looking pretty good at the moment so i'm pretty happy with that so those are the stats uh, what can i tell you about my own physical health right now well i'm just about going through my hair loss stage uh, and I'm going to be fairly frank with you, you lose it in your most nefarious parts first, or at least I am. Uh, my hair seems to be holding on tenuously. If I shake it, the odd one comes out, but that's probably normal for anyone anyway. Um, but certainly body and privates, they, they, they're, they're, um, they're, there's a bit of an exodus going on. <laughs> but uh, I just thought you want to know that. Um, the other physical thing that I've noticed is that my bladder control has got worse over the last couple of days. I came off the catheter, things were fine, but then I found that during the night I need to go to the toilet all the time. So I've put myself back in adult nappies, diapers, so just in case, just for that precaution, uh, and, then, and then I'm just consistently having to go to the toilet. That's just the way it is. I think my 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 muscle control will have to relearn how to how to work in order to control my bladder functions. Um, I'm still taking all my supplements that I do on a daily basis, um, and they advise as well. This happens from chemotherapy onwards. You get these sort of support and the, these nutritional protein drinks. You need a couple of these a day to just sort your stomach out and make sure that your uh, that your uh, your digestive system is working as accordingly as, as, as it should do so what equipment have i decided to bring with me that that could be useful for you to know first things first loads of um, adapter plugs. These are cheap as chips on Amazon and eBay. You can pick like six of them up for like three quid. They're, they're general European ones, I think. I think Russian, Russia goes on the general European ones. Uh, you will need these for all your three pin, um, if you're British, uh, three pin plugs that you have. If you're not British and you can use Russian uh, ones anyway, uh, whatever. Uh, another thing I bought is my, my pen knife. I, I found this quite useful. It's got lots of things on to use. Uh, I just try and keep it as clean as possible. Um, so that, that's good. Salt and pepper and things. Uh, I haven't used as much as I thought I would. I was using my, uh, my cinnamon until I lent it to Frank and he's in isolation and I can't get it back. So I was putting that in my porridge and, and, and things like that. I have bought jams from the shop to put in, put in semolina and to put on bread and things. So that, that's been pretty useful. Um, talking about electronics as well, I have a, a multiple, the, the, this is really useful. If you're going to get uh, a USB adapter, Get one that, that that can that can put three or four on at, at once, rather than having lots of different plugs. Just just get one that that, that does it all, and then that that will uh, that will be far more useful. I've also got, as you can see here, um, a an adapter plug uh, or an extension lead, just so I can fit as many things on as I might need. So. That's all good. That's just all bog standard stuff. Um, I printed off the information pack from, from the clinic. Uh, very useful so that you know what's coming next. I mean, they can give you one of these if you don't have one, but it is useful to bring with you. And I bought all my paperwork with me as well, which has sat around doing nothing because no one appears to care. <laughs> so, you know, but it's there anyway, just in case. I have, I'm a big fan of my, uh, my iPod, iPod Classic and I've got a little sort of £10 speaker 
that is USB charge, so I don't need batteries for that. That's great because I can plug that into my phone and I can plug it into my laptop if needs be and it gives me enough power to hear things with a bit more clarity. My mobile phone is super, super useful for uh, obviously for keeping in contact, keeps pinging, uh, for keeping in contact with, with the outside world. Something else I've found useful is a is a stand so if I want to speak to people or, or even watch whatever I can put it on my stand and and have it sat there at the right angle either on portrait or landscape and and I can speak to people or watch things and do other things at the same time great for multitasking that's a really useful piece of kit that I would advise getting as well um, Dettol, antibacterial wipes, super useful. I mean, they'll, they'll have them themselves, but well useful for keeping these out and, and using them all the time. Keep your stuff clean. Remember I said yesterday about hands and, and nose and eyes and mouth, and, and these are the areas that are gonna hold your germs more, so you know, keep them clean. I also have uh, screen cleaners for my laptop and all the electronic devices I have just to keep them clean, just to be on the safe side. I generally walk around in bare feet because it's warm enough, but I do have a nice pair of slippers that keep my feet warm, that the nurses seem to like. I think they remind them of being in Russia or something. Um, I have my fold away walking stick. Now, my EDSS score, my disability score, isn't that great that I actually need this. This is kind of an insurance policy, but it's great because it folds away and fits into my bag. And if I need it, I can use it. I haven't needed it, uh, and hopefully I won't need it, but it's there. And if, if I decide I want to, I don't know, put it together and hit things, I've got a big stick. Um, I would advise technologically wise to get a half decent webcam. So I, I got a, uh, they're not that expensive. I got 20 quid Logitech 720p webcam that is, that is really doing the business. Got a good microphone on it. I'm really happy with that. I've also got uh, a headset with a, with, with a microphone on, which is really, really useful. And the reason it's really useful is not only for listening to things uh, and to speaking for, to people on Skype if I want slightly better microphone communication. But I also ripped off the internet something called Dragon Naturally Speaking. It's a bit naughty, I know, but that program allows me to speak, because I do a lot of writing, allows me to speak to the computer and it translates it into words and sentences and you can train it up and, and it's, it's, it's been an absolute re revelation for me. Likewise, on my phone, I use speech to text. Now, I know there's a built in Google um, keyboard to do that, but actually, I find the Swift key one and the Dragon Plus Swipe keyboards that you can get off the app stores are better. And so I speak into my phone and it creates large amounts of text way, way quicker than I would be able to just type it. And for someone who can't use their fingers very well, my fingers have very bad sensation. That is incredibly important. I find it very difficult to type on my keyboard. So Dragon, naturally speaking, is super, super important for me. That is a massive um, uh, hint for anyone who, who likes to use technology effectively and quickly. I did spend out before I came here on getting myself my old laptop went wrong uh, well it's just not very oh that's amazing hey look at that so i did get myself a bit of a new laptop it's pretty decent does what i wanted to do so i'm happy with that and that's been really really useful um now i'm going to show you some of the things that you are provided with here that that will allow you to operate as a clean individual First of all, hair nets. Uh, generally, you have to wear them outside. You don't really have to wear them in here. Uh, uh, it depends on what stage you are, really. You, you'll find a lot of visitors wearing 
more of that stuff than the actual patients. Um, gloves, gloves can be useful depending on what you're doing. These are the flannels, these mini flannelettes, so they come in these bags, and these are what you wash yourself with. Now you have a body wash and a private wash. So, so the nurse will will take some of these and wash your back with that because you can't reach your back, but generally you wash the rest of you, and then you use these and you get them really wet with that, and you wash your privates. And I don't really need to tell you how to do that, do I? Um, Instead of washing your teeth or brushing your teeth, use this red um, mouthwash. Now, this mouthwash is actually really good. You half dilute it with water, and I've been using it for a week now, and my teeth aren't particularly furry at all, which is quite surprising. I thought they'd be a little bit furry, but it's done a really good job of, of keeping my teeth clean. So that's, that's that. And this, of course, is super important because this is your hand wash. So you use this all the time to squirt your hands. It's like that alcoholic hand, hand wash and then it sort of evaporates. But, but that, that's going to be, you know, part of your everyday routine as much as possible. Uh, and then you get your face masks. Your face masks, you generally wear outside depends what phase you're at really i haven't worn them as much as i probably should have done but it depends where you're at and where other people are at so if you're hanging around people who are just out of isolation or who have low immunity then that's when you want to be wearing them um, you have your microwave as i've told you before and your fridge to keep stuff in you can get people to, to to buy stuff from the shop from you if they're a different phase from you and and then they clean them down and deliver them through the door i'm just going to show you some of the food stuffs i've brought because i think that's quite useful i tended to to err on the side of compact things that didn't take up too much too much space in my bag so i bought some cereals uh, but i also brought brought some sort of mueslis from the shop so you know uh, I, I generally uh, when I make cereal if I'm hungry I'll put it in the microwave for 20-30 seconds to warm it up just to kill off any germs as you can see biscuits and you know uh, noodles naked noodle curry things that that you can buy from the supermarkets at home uh, a lot of these sort of rice packets that, that you can that you can microwave very easily um, and and stuff like that, that that you can either supplement your your food your meals with or you can have on their own. Now I had to be perfectly honest I've not really eaten an awful lot of that. I've been fine with the food that's here. Uh, you generally get four meals a day. You get a breakfast then you get your meat and two, two apples, and then you get some kind of lunch, and then you get a light sort of dinner. So uh, I might, because it happens quite early, so six o'clock I think is, when you, is by the time you've eaten your last one. If it's nine o'clock, I might notch into a, a bowl of cereal or something. But generally, you know, everything is, is fine, and I've not been massively hungry. I know other people have. It, again, these things depend on, on what you're like as a person and what your appetites are. Um, what else can I tell you? Just uh, you're constantly on, on pills and infusions and injections and all the things I've already told you. But everything's fine. You've got all the mod cons. Uh, I'm sure you can think of things to bring, books and magazines and puzzle books and things to keep you company games on your laptops or, or phones uh, just whatever floats your boat you will need to make sure that you are that you are you know interested and not bored you know boredom is going to be something that you're going to have to cope with so whether you take up a hobby you bring a laptop and decide to write a journal 
or, or, or do some artwork or, or whatever, you know, consider those things. Maybe one of those modern art, art books you can you can uh, for adults that you can get, you know, just to while away the time. As I've said, I'm fine. I I don't have a problem with making myself busy, but some people might. Um, hopefully, this has been useful for you. It's been a bit of a whistle stop tour around the sorts of things that you can bring and a little bit about how I'm feeling now, which is generally pretty chipper. Um, job done. Uh, yeah, until next time. See you soon.